Hello everybody, welcome back to Building with Carl. I'm Carl. <laughs> I'm sure you know that by now. Uh, today we're, we're standing out in front of the bakery that we built last time. Um, we used a pretty cool villager mechanic to get one villager to feed another villager bread. So this time we're going to be working on this. Um, I think it's, what is this? <laughs> I know what it is. It's the blacksmith shop. Uh, it's the vanilla one. Uh, I loaded one in so we could take a look. Um, it's just a lot of cobblestone, which that is not one of my favorite textures in the game. Uh, but I see what they're doing here. They want to put the the furnace area, the uh, the forge outside the building so it's safe. You don't burn anything down, but, you know, this just isn't, well, it isn't big enough, and it doesn't match our build theme, so let's go ahead and tear this down. Okay, let's see. All right, let's block off this lava so we don't kill anybody. Um, watch out, watch out, Iron Golem. All right, here we go. Yeah, get all this torn down. Carl! Oh, no. <laughs> Look what you did, Carl! <laughs> oh, poor Iron Golem. He died. That's sad. That's so sad. All right, let's uh, let's start laying some. Uh, I don't want to call it scaffolding, but you know we're gonna put we're gonna put the the framing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a building term. Well, uh, we're going to frame out the building so we get a rough idea of the size, the scope, and uh, where the walls are going to go. I'm going to get rid of all this cobble in a little bit. I think on this build, what we'll do is we'll do... We're going to do some more redstone. It's going to be... Uh, an automatic furnace system so that you just throw all your fuel all your goods that you want to smelt into a chest and then the system just goes and then you come back later and you pick up your smelted stuff well, there's some pretty advanced systems you could use um, I think El Mango has a pretty advanced one I know Mumbo Jumbo has some super smelters alright so let's start down here let's get the first forge going this is gonna be a big one it's a big one <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go too wide and then uh, make kind of a, a mantle uh, over the chimney. So we'll do the chimney now. It's a big, it's a big chimney. It might be too big, but <laughs> I don't mind. I think that'll look better. I'm wondering if we should use a different block for the chimney. You know, most chimneys are made out of bricks, but I think that's too that's too red, right? If they had a good sandstone brick, I would use that. But they don't. And even like uh, the nether brick, that's too dark. It's, it's, what is it like? A super dark purple, right? It, it just won't work. It's, it clashes too much with the sandstone. So what, what I need, which I don't have in vanilla texture pack, <laughs> is uh, a sandstone brick. That's kind of too bad. Because I, I think, like, the regular stands, sandstone is supposed to look like a brick, but...
but it's a little too messy. I wish it was just a little cleaner looking. Oh well. Let's try putting the bricks back here, see how that looks. And maybe. Well, let's, what do we want to put? Um, maybe we grab some lava. And I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing if there's any other sh bricks, and there's no there's no good sandstone bricks, right? So that's a bummer. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> I need more. I need more blocks in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, Minecraft problems. All right, uh, I think that looks pretty good with the lava. It's got a nice glow. All right, so I'm gonna add another forge over here. Um, this is gonna be important later in the episode. You'll see, I, I won't ruin it. I won't give you any spoilers. <laughs> but we're gonna go up with another chimney. There's a lot of, a lot of chimneys in this episode. We'll call this the chim. I'm like a chimney sweep, right? It's chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim, chiru. <laughs> All right, I won't sing anymore. Uh, it's not the. It's not the best. I'm not the best singer. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Okay, I like that. I think we're gonna do another one on the other side, but I'll do that off cam. All right, so I built that, but I think we're going to add like a, a cauldron so that we can um, schmelt, uh, schmelt, I like that word, schmelt. We're going to schmelt the ore in a cauldron. So I'm going to set up a little, a little uh, fire area, a little furnace in the floor so that the cauldrons above it uh, you put your ore in there it melts down and then once you've got your uh, iron ore all the impurities out right from smelting it you can go ahead and uh, form it and use the other uh, well, <laughs> the other furnaces or the other uh, forges that's the word yeah yeah forge <laughs> all right so we put some lava under there uh, that looks that looks okay yeah sweet um uh, maybe maybe let's try some nether rack nether rock and then we'll oh oh yeah i like that that's pretty cool all right, let's do the oh, <laughs> let's do the same thing over here. I think that looks better. Oh yeah, yeah, better than the lava. Right. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Can we? Maybe we could put lava inside the cauldron. Can we do it? Uh, uh I don't think it's gonna let me. What? Okay, so. <laughs> All right. All right. So inside, inside the nether brick um, is where we're going to be collecting our our iron ore. And so I'm setting up a uh, a dropper that's going to go into a water elevator. Um, so I'm doing the redstone right now. So if you take a comparator signal off the back of a dropper or a hopper, actually, put a repeater out in front of that comparator and then uh, wrap the redstone around like I'm doing you will get a super fast uh, clock uh, this is the, the best way of putting it um, 
is a clock. I don't know that it's technically a clock, but it gives you a one tick pulse. And then there you go. You got a a dropper that'll shoot out all your items. Okay, now I'm going to set up that water stream. So we've got uh, our hopper array, no, furnace array, with hoppers on the top facing into the furnaces. Those are going to feed the items that we want to smelt. And then we got hoppers on the back facing into the back of the furnaces. And that's going to feed in our fuel. So now I'm going to put a uh, powered rail line. And that will have a uh, a mine a mine cart with a chest, and that'll feed in coal or blaze rods or sticks. I think you can use wool as well as for fuel. Um, but uh, yeah, all right. Let's put in the water. Get this. All the way up here uh, I'll put it there okay there we go so you see the water flows all the way down to the last hopper so items will be able to flow all the way down once we get that hooked up all right so let's continue this rail line we need a regular rail to turn the corner and then we continue with powered rails. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Just clear some space. Okay, uh, maybe we'll stop it with a block. No. Yeah. I kind of like a fence better. Okay, let's. Let's power these rails. All right, so we'll do a redstone block. Uh, hello? <laughs> Does it go? Okay. Um, but I don't want a redstone block there. I don't want a redstone block. Okay, maybe, um, ooh, let's see. I think we could put a lever. Yeah. Put a lever no there ah oh, perfect okay that's gonna get covered by the floor uh now we just need to do the same thing over here we'll do a lever there okay we got power everywhere nice now we just need a uh mine cart with a chest um hello move ah oh. Wait, what? Go. And, aw, aw. What, what's it doing? <laughs> uh, oh, that's got to go. All right. Well, that works, I guess. Okay, so there we go. That'll feed all the furnaces fuel. Let's go ahead and throw a block of coal in there. And there you go. It's... It's distributing the coal and then we can we can throw our we're gonna get some iron ore yeah throw our iron ore in there I'll show you you just have to throw it right like that uh, there we go okay so that first hopper is gonna keep taking most of it okay so here on the other side, I dug out underneath the furnaces and over to where our collection area is going to be. So now I'm just putting in the hopper array that way. So then out of the... Oh, oops. <laughs> All right. Uh, out of the bottom of our furnaces. There we go. Um, all the iron will flow all the way down over to where we're going to collect it. Uh, I'm trapped. Here we go. So what we got is in the back of that furnace is going to be a 
a chest. Um, so you could actually access the chest through the fire. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Okay, so uh, drop her there. And then let's just add these hoppers. All right. And then... Doo -doo. Uh, ready for the water. Uh, okay. Let's add this water column. And perfect. Okay. So that's all hooked up. We just need to power that dropper. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Okay. So we need to get a redstone signal from here. How am I going to no. Okay. Uh, wait. Let's move it to here. And the reason for that, I mean, I could take it off the hopper, but I want to take it off the dropper so that the dropper doesn't have any items in it. Um, I noticed before, if I took it off the hopper, Sometimes, oh, <laughs> I hate water. Um, sometimes the dropper would end up having an item left inside of it. Oh, I thought I got dust. There we go. And doing it this way ensures that the dropper fires out everything that's inside of it. So you never end up with an item left inside of the dropper. Not that that really matters. Okay, so we got to power this dropper from underneath. Uh, I want to use a torch, a red sun torch, but okay, is that is that gonna work? Just dust? I don't think so. Seems like every time I try to do <laughs> redstone, uh, you're you're forgetting what you knew. Uh, you're you're just trying out. Okay, so no, that's not gonna work. No. Okay, so that's backfeeding my line. So I gotta add a repeater. Maybe. Okay, let's. Okay, torch, repeater, dust. No. Okay. So put a block. Oh, I think that's working. Oh, 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 I got a block there. Oh, no. Oh, I hope my redstone's okay. There we go. Okay, we got seeds in there. Uh, oh, good. Redstone's fine. Awesome. Okay, well, that is our blacksmith shop. Um, like I said, it's got the automatic furnace. It's pretty cool. Um, if you liked this episode, why don't you slap that like button? If you really liked it and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. That would be great. Um, next time, I think we're going to build a stable. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to go and build a stable. That'll be pretty cool. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>